<laughs> What's this? Well, it's part of a magnetic toy. I tried to list the magnetic toys in my collection once, but I got up to 60 and I was hardly scratching the surface. So I've given up doing trying to do that. There's just so many of them. I've brought a few here to show you and to show the great variety of sorts. This first one is a bit bizarre because the rest of the thing is down on the table here. Let me pull the camera down to show. It's just waiting to be reassembled. There we are. It's going to be a brown cat. There we are. There's his head. It's an Austrian toy, I think. All it's got is four legs, and that just clicks. That there's a little ball bearing in the top of each one. A little ball bearing clicks into the base there. Click, click. I don't think there's any difference between the front and back paws, so that's all right. So there he is. The cat's ready, and now the head can go on. What's nice about this is um, there's no clockwork mechanism. There's no batteries. It's just a, a something you do in pose with it. You know, you can pose it down as if it's sniffing the ground. You can make it look whimsical at you like that. You can turn it perhaps up, so looking up at things. Let's have a go. Oh, he lost his leg here. <laughs> yes. And the eyes, oh, that's nice. The eyes roll a bit too. They've got the little eyeball here. But it's something you can pose, and it different poses depending on what it's doing. And the legs can pose as well. And oh, careful, the head's falling off again. Oh, well, there we are. And you can make it twist its head as if it's doing a bit of that. It's a lovely thing for posing and then taking pictures of because there's so many shapes and ways you can actually put it together. All the back legs are getting out of place, they're pointing backwards now. So a very charming little toy, which um, I've only ever come across the one version of it, actually. But it's something that ought to be pursued, I think, in the toy industry because that's such a simple thing for children to play with. And for hours, they can play with the cat. And if they've got a little camera, they can take lots of pictures when they get favourite poses of it. Nice one, though. Here's a very early one from the 1960s, I think, this one here. It's a bear. He sits on the table. There we are. There's, there's the bear. He, he's dancing on a point, and he'll stay up there because, of course, here there's a magnet in here. If you turn this the other way around, you'll just fall down because the magnet's on this side. So turn it like that, and that supports him, and then he can dance. He really can dance. He can twirl around. Look at that. Amazing, isn't it? Simple, this is just a bit of wire too, in thin plastic, and it's uh, probably made somewhere in Asia back in the 1960s. So very, very simple little toy, easily taken apart, just pull that out, push it off, and it's collapsed and put away in the bag for another time. So that goes way, way, way back in my collection. So a long, long, long way back. Come forward a few decades, and we've got something like this, which is a ballpoint pen. And unlike the ones which sort of hold horizontally and held up magnetic cradle, this one's got a ring magnet in here, quite a heavy one. It's quite a firm one too. So it sits there and if you turn it gently and spin it, I'll spin it a bit faster than that, it'll actually spin quite well. Ooh, so there we are, he spins and he wiggles and he's precessing now. Look at that, he's turning and also he's spinning. So very nice. And of course it's strong enough to hold itself up that like that as well. So. It's nice because it's a pen that's immediately available. When you want to pick it up, you don't need to scrabble around it. Pick it up like that, start writing, put it back there again. And it's a very, very neat way of um, having an office pen that's highly functional. That one fills all, all the traps for me. Here's a very bizarre one, which um, Slinky made at one time. Let me look at this. It's, I've seen some very nice magnetic toys, magnetic rail, wheels on rails, which are nice, and they work very well. This peculiar one came out just for a few years, way back in, oh, I don't know when it was, uh, 1980s, I guess. The idea is to bend this, this into different shapes like that and then make it roll up and down. It's funny this, because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it is a bendable metal like that, and it is magnetizable, because the magnets in here cling onto it. So it'll then start rolling down, I hope, yes it will, just about. And you can make it go down, and you can make it go up and down like that, or round in a ring, or whatever it is. It's a slightly strange toy, which hasn't reappeared, so I think perhaps they decided it was um, not, not quite good enough for the kids. Compared with a double rail one, which lights up and does all sorts of things. Oh, it's come off now. Yes, it, actually, you can probably get it to go around the corner there. Go around, yes, you can. Look at that. It goes around the corner. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, whoa, and down there. So it's got a bit to it, but it's um, it's a real one-off thing, which I found in my first rage, major trip to, to uh, the States in 1991, when I was just buying everything in sight.
And the last item of this is a very, very nicely made desktop little mobile, they call it, don't they, these things. What's nice about this is, is it's got two, two magnets. One is hidden in here, and that holds it up. And the other, there's a pair of magnets, a magnet on the bottom here, so that would mean it should hold, it does. But there's a repelling magnet hidden underneath, and the idea of repelling is it pushes it away from the centre, so it won't stay exactly in the centre. There's exactly the centre point. Take your hand away, and it immediately it moves to one side, because it's being repelled by the thing, and then set it swinging. And I tried it actually with some laser beams on it because this is a very highly reflective cone thing with six sides to it and it looks wonderful. You get a huge display. I'll have to try it out perhaps when we're back in the studio to so shining three three lasers, three three different color lasers, red, green and blue or something at it because you get some wonderful um, light effects of light zooming around the room from it. But very simple. I'd also like the packaging for it although the way it packs up, that takes off like that. This is very neat. Look at that. You just pull that like that and take it out. That's very neat. So the whole thing packs up into a very small and complete little thing. So that's a very nicely designed little desktop mobile. Magnets are amazing. And there are some, well, I have to do at least one more video and probably several more on the subject of magnets because there's just so much out there and it's so magical too. Keep looking for them.